What's going on, you guys? Peplotipus here, and today I'm going to be doing a One Piece 21 Questions tag Q&A type thing. I was tagged by a subscriber, uh, Farhan Gapadia. He um, frequently comments on my videos, so he's awesome. Why can't you be like him? No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> like That's my favorite subscriber, no. Um, I mean, maybe, because he comments on all my videos. He's a cool guy, but anyways... Uh, yeah, with that digression out of the way, I'll just get started because there's like 21 questions. So, yeah, first question I know is, who is my favorite character? That would be Luffy, Monkey D, Monkey D Luffy. He's just so funny, and he has so much, I don't want to say hidden depth, but he has so much uh, don't judge a book by his cover depth to his character. I love the way he learns from his opponents and just betters himself as a fighter. Uh, his personality you know he's funny but he can be badass without actually looking badass he just does badass things and he has a i just he just has a i don't give a fuck attitude and he's a pure savage and it's awesome really like a beast of a man like people always make jokes like why doesn't luffy have any attraction to any of the women it's like he's a fucking you know he's like he's always gay or something no i think luffy is just so much of a fucking human animal that it just doesn't interest him. He's just like, no, like, yeah, I have my goal. I'm going to go do this. I want food. I want fucking One Piece. I want adventure. Um, and then maybe he'll focus on something like that after he's, like, retired. But, yeah, Luffy's just a really interesting character with really crazy, unique... I didn't even get to the abilities yet. Second gear, third gear, fourth gear. Dude's just phenomenal. I love Luffy. So, maybe an anticlimactic answer because he's the main character, but... Luffy, definitely my favorite in the One Piece series. So, next question. The next question is, who is my favorite villain? Probably Don Quixote do Flamingo. It, one of the reasons why I can't wait to see them clash when I finally finish the Dressrosa arc in a few years when the English dub comes out. Because do Flamingo, he's a dark character, but he has his he has his depth, I suppose. I mean, his backstory. It's not the deepest backstory ever. In fact, I think Oda purposely wanted him to seem even as a kid, like, what was supposedly tragic for him was just, like, oh, man, I don't own slaves anymore. Like, that fucking bullshit. You know, how evil is this guy? Like, is he willing to genocide a shit ton of people? Yes. Is he willing to not just genocide them, but actually play a part and, like, manipulate them with his strings and cut people down? Yeah, he'll do that. Will he kill his own family? He's willing to kill his own family. Um, is he smug and a complete dick? Yes. He's just an awesome villain. He's very dark and very powerful and very fun, <clears throat> very charismatic. So yeah, I really love Doflamingo as a villain. Definitely my favorite. Next question. What is my favorite quote or statement in the series? Um, I would say Luffy. Uh, Arlong Park, when he's fighting Arlong and he says, I can't cook, I can't use swords, I can't lie, I can't navigate, but I can kick your ass. That's probably my favorite quote slash statement because it really... It showed what I said before, don't judge a book by his cover. Luffy, he's not that stupid. He just doesn't care about a lot of things that are going on. Like, people, I mean, he, like, the scientific stuff goes over his head. That's why he says, oh, it's a mystery hole or it's a mystery mountain or whatever the fuck. He always says stuff like that because the specifics of things go over his head. But he's very, he's very simplistic in his motives and that throws people off, but it's quotes like that that show that he knows, like, yeah, I want to be Pirate King, but I can't do it by myself. He has his shit planned out. When it comes to combat, being a Pirate King, or being a captain, he pretty much has his shit figured out, and that's one of the things I really like about Luffy, so, yeah, more of the reason he's my favorite character, but also really, really great quote, so, yeah, next question. What is my favorite female character in the series? Um, maybe Boa Hancock. She's probably a pretty standard answer, but she is just really cool. She's really funny. She's got a great design. I like how tall she is. I don't know why. It's just the fact that she's so tall just seems unique to me, and she's a badass. Um, it's cool that she has, like, Conqueror's Hockey. I'm pretty sure she does. I could be wrong on that. I think she has Conqueror's Hockey, or just Hockey in general, one of the earlier characters to use it, and... Yeah, she's just a badass when she fights. I mean, when I first saw her power, I was like, oh, she turns people to stone. That's kind of just okay. But then when you see the shit she does in Marineford, yeah, it's fucking badass. So, yeah, really like Hancock. Um, yeah, pretty much all I have to say. She's awesome. I like Robin, too. And Monet was really cool on Punk Hazard. But, yeah, it's probably Boa Hancock. 
Robin's really cool and really good backstory, but her abilities just don't really appeal to me that much from a combat standpoint. Um, she doesn't use them to their full potential, I don't think, either. So, yeah, I'll probably end up... I'll, yeah, I'm going to stay with uh, Boa Hancock. Definitely my favorite. Next question. What is my favorite fight in the series? That would be Luffy versus Luchi. I think it's a lot of people's answer. It's not too long. It's not too short. It's really action-packed. It's really intense. You get to see a lot of second gear uh, for the first time, too. Like, you saw him beat the shit out of Bluno with it, but, I mean, come on. You actually get to see it in an even matchup, and you get to see third gear in full for the first time, and it's just a really good fight. The only weakness is that they throw in Lucci's, like, extremely boring backstory in there, which is just not interesting. Uh, Lucci's one of the least interesting villains, too, but he is still cool and has some charisma to him, but... Or maybe a lack of charisma that somehow gives him charisma. I don't... It's weird. But I do like him. He's just not that compelling. So, yeah, his backstory's kind of boring, but the fight itself is amazing. The Jet Gatling finish, oh, my God, it's just... It's, it's incredible. So, yeah... But I do reserve the right to change that to Luffy versus Doflamingo once I see that fight in full because fourth gear and because it's just such a it's such a cool matchup because even though they aren't like straight hand to hand fighters like Luffy versus Luchi, Doflamingo's so powerful it'll probably be I mean it already happened in the manga people have already seen it but um, for me uh, I would say it's probably one of my most anticipated moments in like what i'm gonna see later in the series uh but yeah anyways uh let's see what else do i want to say not much else i pretty much said why i think it's luffy versus luchi i think most people would agree so not much else to say there i'll move on to the next one what's my favorite episode that's a tricky one because it's not like american cartoons where pretty much each episode unless it's a two-parter kind of has its own self-contained small plot um you know, you see that with Avatar The Last Airbender, even though it's kind of an anime. I mean, it's anime in style, so it pretty much is one. But, you know, it does have a lot of self-contained episodes where the whole plot gets finished in that episode because it's a very simple plot. Uh, you know, that happens with other cartoons like Steven Universe and Adventure Time. Well, Adventure Time has two parters, but, you know, fucking the details, whatever. Uh, so, with One Piece, it's kind of different because it's an anime and each episode kind of tells just a piece of an overall story. But if I had to pick one, I'd say episode 126. At least I think that's it. It's the one where Luffy finishes off Crocodile with the Gum Gum Storm. And when the fighting in Alabasta finally stops, I mean... You're coming off the shit with Pell, which... He lives and I hate it, but... Um, you're coming off the shit with Pell. Vivi is completely destroyed and all this fighting is still happening. And she's just telling them to stop. And Luffy versus Crocodile is so badass. And... The animation's really good for the time, and just the music they used, it's not even One Piece soundtrack music, it's like outsourced, like fucking orchestrated music. Uh, outsourced is the wrong word, but like they got the rights to it. And it just makes everything feel like this monumental event is happening, and this monumental, nearly biblical fucking war is ending with like two million soldiers versus this small amount of royal soldiers. It's just fucking awesome, so... Yeah, love that episode. Really well done. There's other really good episodes, like the final episode of Luffy vs. Luchi is really good, but overall, I'd say that's probably my favorite episode from just how well made it is from start to finish. So, moving on, next question. What is my favorite One Piece opening? That's an easy one. It's opening 14, Fight Together. I love the flashbacks of the Straw Hats joining the crew and, like, the defining moments and everything. I love... How kind of sad it is, but kind of happy it is. Ace pushing Luffy at the end. It leads into the time skip really, really well. It's really well animated. Love the song. So definitely opening 14 of One Piece. Um, but One Piece has so many openings that it's even it's hard to even pick. But I think that's definitely the one. Uh, we Are is great. Uh, opening 5. Kokoro no Chizu, if I'm saying that right. That one's really good too. Uh, Brand New World's great. It has all kinds of great openings. I think every opening of One Piece is good. The only ones I kind of don't like are Crazy Rainbow Star and like the opening for Impel Down. Those are the only two I kind of don't like. So One Piece has a ton of great openings, but that's my favorite. So next question. Favorite movie special or episode of? I can pretty much answer all of those. The only special I've seen is uh, 3D2Y. It was really, really good. I liked it. It was fun and action-packed, but it's my favorite because I haven't seen any of the others. My favorite episode of... I've only seen the majority of episode of Luffy, 
I think it was called Episode Luffy, was it? It was like the Hand Island Adventure. Wait, what was that? Was that the same thing? I think it was. You saw like Kobe or something, but like before the time skip, like before actually seeing him in the manga or whatever. Yeah, that one was cool, but I didn't finish it. I don't know why. I should probably finish it. Uh, an episode of Nami. I don't need to see episode of Sabo because it's just Dressrosa again, pretty much, from what I've heard. So, yeah. Um, episode of Nami, between those two, for sure. And then movies, I've only seen three. The remake of Alabasta, Strong World, and Film Z. Tie between Strong World and Film Z, I can't decide. Strong World feels more like something Oda would write, but Film Z is really, really fucking awesome. And he did write Strong World, so that's not even fair. But <laughs> anyways, yeah, tie between those two. And... Yeah, my favorite episode of is Nami, because I love the Arlong Park arc. It's probably my top five. I hate saying that, Arlong Park arc. But anyways, same thing with Thriller Bark arc. Oh my god, it just sounds retarded. Um, but yeah, next question. What is my favorite arc in One Piece? Uh, pff, Marine Ford's my favorite completed arc. Probably, yeah. I'd say it's probably my favorite completed arc. My favorite arc in the whole series might be Dressrosa. <clears throat> Excuse me. It was really funny. It had a lot of story going on. A lot of different things were happening. It had fourth gear, which I didn't really see in context. I just kind of saw it because I just wanted to see it. But uh, it has fourth gear. It has a bunch of other defining moments for the characters. It has crazy twists and crazy reveals and all kinds of cool stuff going on. It's just, it's just fucking awesome. So, yeah, I love Dressrosa. And when I finish it, it probably will be my favorite arc. But until it's until I finish watching it and everything. I'm not too sure, but for now, I'm going to say Marine Ford, favorite completed arc. Uh, favorite arc overall, probably Dressrosa. So, next question. What is my favorite One Piece video game? Maybe Unlimited World Red? I like the Pirate Warriors games. They're fun, but Unlimited World Red just has more to it gameplay-wise and really cool cel-shaded graphics and kind of an interesting story. And, yeah, it's just fun it's nice it's enjoyable i think it improved a lot of what unlimited adventure had in it so unlimited adventure was fun too but i definitely think unlimited world red's a bit better so yeah probably unlimited world red next question okay so this will be the last question i answer in this video because i've been recording for like 15 minutes so yeah this will be the last question for this one and then i'll make a part two because i don't want this video to be like forever long the question is if I was in the One Piece world, whose crew would I join? Um, or, like, if I wanted to join the Marines, like, you know. So, I would actually... I'm going to go outside of those, but it's still in the One Piece world. I'd probably join the White Berets from Skypiea. It'd be so awesome to live in the Sky Islands and use the dials and everything. And they don't seem to fight too much serious crime because they're kind of scrubs. Obviously, this would be after Eneru got defeated, so... You know, if Skypea would be peaceful and there probably wouldn't be too much crime because it's a pretty small place. It might get boring, but if I had to pick one, it'd probably be there because the rest of the One Piece world is kind of fucking terrifying. So, yeah, places are constantly getting attacked by pirates. Like, nowhere in the New World, for sure. And uh, probably nowhere on the Grand Line, either. I'd... Well, Sabote's pretty cool, actually. But I think Skypea would be cooler. So, yeah, I could, I could sail my waiver over to Upper Yard on the... Cl oh, yeah, Skypea. Definitely would join the White Berets. I know they aren't Marines. I know they aren't a pirate crew, but still, I picked the White Berets. So, yeah, with that being said, that is the first 11. Yeah, that's the first 11 questions. I'll be doing a second video talking about the rest of them. I just don't want this to last too long. So, thanks for watching this video. Um, tell me in the comment section below what your answers to these questions are, if you feel so, if you feel so inclined to do so. <clears throat> Excuse me, you can do that in the comment section below. Uh, follow me on Instagram or add me on PSN. Pet Platypus on both. Give this video a thumbs up. That would help me out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already or if you like what you've seen here. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.